We'll guide you through how to install and run Windows on a Mac. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really convenient to do, as there may be certain apps you want to go and use which aren't available on Mac. To go and get started, head into the description or the pinned comment and you'll find a link labeled Parallels. Parallels is an app we can go and use in order to go and run Windows on a Mac. That is an affiliate link which supports the channel and no extra cost to you. What we can do once we're here is you can go and read about it, but to get started, we can go and press buy now and we can then go and subscribe. In this case, I'll just go and get the standard edition and press buy now and I'll go and complete the purchase. I've now completed the purchase and we're on this page here. You're gonna go and see your key and you're gonna go and see the option for download. Press download. Press the downloads button in the top right Safari and we can go and double click on the DMG. Then you can double click on install parallels desktop. Confirm our decision by pressing open and give it permissions. Read and agree to the end user license agreement. I already have, so I'll go and accept it. And you can choose if you want to go and have the customer experience program. Go and wait for it to download. It's now gonna start the install process. And what I can do is go and confirm this. Now we need to go and give it some permissions. I'll go and press next and we'll get this pop-up. I can press allow and there'll be a few more you need to go through. And what I can do is now go and make an account. I've now signed in. You can always go and make an account there. And then what we can do is go and enter in our activation key. You can find that in the email you would have received. We've now successfully activated it and we can press okay. What we can then do is go and press install windows like so. Now go and wait for the process to go and start. I can give access to the camera by pressing allow and the microphone as well. You can go and get this toolbox, but I'll skip that. You can see it usually takes 15 minutes to complete, so be patient. So it's successfully installed and we're now using Windows. As you can see, I can close that there. I can go and open up File Explorer. We could go and open up Edge and that's the web browser. And you can then go and start using it and getting apps. It's that simple. 